What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy, Uncle Rizza. Welcome to Ignorant Gamers as we discuss a seemingly bitch made topic made by the beloved Phil Spencer. Uh, but first, I just want to make sure you guys know if this is your first time, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Stick around, baby. We need your support. Oh, I love this super. I really do love this super. I love Horizon. Anyway, on to the big news. So there's been some headlines rolling across my feed. Uh, things to the effect as uh, <laughs> Phil Spencer says Sony's market share has nothing to do with market share. <laughs> it was I was very confusing to sort of understand what was going on from the the topics or the titles of these articles and usually when that happens it means there's link bait in the water and you must be careful so when i got to digging it all comes from uh, uh some quotes taken out of context yes from a GameSpot interview that phil spencer had where he was asked uh how difficult it was to increase the market share with sony really you know pretty much out here dominating and uh verbatim i'll you know i'll read for you what phil said quote so they don't gobble the deals up they buy them you know i read the same things you do and i know some people think it's somehow less expensive to sign third-party exclusives if you have a bigger market share i can tell you it has nothing to do with market share wow so let's go ahead <laughs> let's go ahead and get the second part of that quote again when you go into a deal with a third party that third party has its own view of the global market and the value of it and they should they should think about their assets and how valuable they are just like anyone would when they are selling their goods now then compared to or i would say versus the madness that i've been reading oh, the headlines and the fuck face articles i've been reading out there you would swear this man was just out slandering sony it's not the case oh did you see that move right there thou shall not pass it's not the case i, I mean let's be for real there's a few there's a few facts that should be on the table here one sony is dominating in market well market share and what i really like about how he answered that question is he provided a segue to mind share now the person who sells the most console seemingly or you know usually controls the most mind share and that's what sony has been doing for some time in fact they leveraged that leading all the way back to the reveal when people were very adamant that microsoft misstepped and they didn't know how to market the thing and what they were doing so on and so forth yada 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 we are not going back there tonight but one of the, the the things that really struck home is he said they don't gobble the deals which was a direct answer to the person asking the question because the person asking the question used the word gobble or grabble whatever the hell he's saying listen it's not about them going out there and and you know knocking on a third party's door and saying hey we're sony we have 25 million units sold would you like to make a game exclusively for us and actually being granted that wish that's silly think of think about something like a call of duty it don't matter how fucked up they get with these stupid dlcs and who gets them first they will never make call of duty a one platform thing because they know they could sell so much more money if it was available on all platforms uh also take a look at bungie Bungie left Microsoft not because they were being caged up somewhere and they couldn't express their freedom. It was because they wanted to get that market share. 
they wanted to sell that much more copies of their project and look at destiny hey project fulfilled it's not much arguing there now this comes down this comes back or comes around after phil said a few weeks back that they are repositioning how they spend their money they're no longer chasing as many third parties for exclusives instead they will be uh putting a lot of that money toward first party titles and developing new titles and i support that decision i really do and i think it's very childish of people to not understand where he's coming from with that decision i mean this is the problem with the gaming industry people complain about sequels uh, call of duty 1 2 3 4 5 battlefield 4 5 3 2 1 it's you know if you guys are going to complain about it and then you have these companies out here fumbling over each other throwing money every which way to lock down a sequel then I, what are you complaining about really what are you complaining about and there's also you know you want to talk about facts uh sony as a company is in the shithole right now and they've been for a number of years uh, playstation as a brand is doing exceptionally well and i i really like that you know i feel like playstation cannot fail should not fail is nowhere close to failing so it's good to see uh you know the playstation keeping sony afloat i'm not i'm not sure that's the case but the playstation isn't going anywhere let's just say it like that so the amount of money their operating costs the amount of overhead that they can go out and spend to lock down exclusives like uh street fighter you know it's it's a good thing for them but it's also silly in the grand scheme of things uh you don't want to get into that war that war has been going on for a while where these guys buy the dlc for this game and these guys over here have to wait and i don't want to hear it from the xbox guys because microsoft's been doing that shit since the 360 and no one seemed to complain and what's even worse about it is coming off of the playstation 1 which i think everyone is in agreement was the god console the playstation 2 was equally as strong it just didn't have the extensive library but the thing with the playstation 2 is uh i think most people just opted to go for not most i'm sorry a lot of people opted to go with the dreamcast and then halfway through that cycle you had the xbox so there was nothing wrong with the PlayStation and, you know, it, it was just some really good competition there. But what I'm getting at is Sony never really left that mindshare of being the God console. So when the 360 came around, Microsoft just can't up and knock at people's door and, and get exclusive based on the Xbox performance. They had to buy shit. They had to open their wallet. So I wouldn't be surprised if you trace back this scumbag behavior of paying for shit. I'm not surprised that we would find out that it started with Microsoft. And what's really dangerous about this game is this is something that could ruin the industry for all of us. And Microsoft has an unlimited amounts of money. And if that's what they wanted to do, they would have done it. And I'm glad, I really believe Phil Spencer when he says they're not chasing that anymore. They're not chasing third party. Because if that was, that was the case, I really wouldn't expect Sony to have wrapped up Capcom. You get what I mean? It's, it's one of those things where if you're a Microsoft lover like I am, you really get what I'm saying. Don't underestimate Microsoft's, uh, one, their money and two their ability to get shit going when they decide it is time so yeah uh, you know fucking spill set fence up huh. phil spencer didn't say anything particularly wrong i don't think he's coming from an asshole point of view uh and it, it's it's always a tough conversation to have with people from both sides but if you look at the amount of effort and features that has gone into both consoles, the PlayStation's behind. The iterations, PlayStation's behind. The games that are offered, the PlayStation's behind. The games that are coming up this year and next year, the PlayStation's behind. But 25 million sold? That's a lot. That's amazing. So when he says, you know, 
they control the market share but let's not get that confused with anything else I, I think he has a valid point but you guys know the deal hit the comments below like the video subscribe to the channel it's your boy uncle Reza. i'm out peace